Do you ever wonder why some people rise to the top while others stay stuck? What sets the 1% apart from the rest? In this video, we'll dive into the timeless wisdom of Miyamoto Musashi to uncover the habits, mindset, and strategies that drive success, so you can break free from the 99% and achieve greatness. Lesson 1. Clear Goals The 1% achieve success by making their goals known, as demonstrated by the famous fighter Miyamoto Musashi. They plan their actions and stick to clear goals, which helps them find their way and stay inspired. The 99% often don't set any goals or set goals that aren't very clear, leading to work in different ways, waste time, and failure. The 1% think about setting big, measurable goals that they can reach, breaking them down into smaller tasks that are easier to handle. This helps them stay focused and motivated even when things get tough. They are less likely to get sidetracked or give up when things get tough. In contrast, the 99% don't pay much attention to their goals, as they may not understand what it means to them. Without a clear goal, distractions, short-term wants, or other people's views can change their minds, leading to anger, putting things off, and ultimately failure. The 1% avoid these problems by making goals that are clear and attainable and sticking to them. Musashi also taught that goals should be in line with their core values and purpose. If shallow goals, like getting rich or famous, don't have a greater reason for them, they will feel empty and unhappy. The top 1% achieve their goals because they are in line with their values, giving them a sense of satisfaction that goes beyond success in the eyes of others. To join the 1%, one must first be very clear on what they want. Write down their goals, break them down into steps, and picture what they want to happen. It will be easier to stay focused and inspired if your goals are clear and important to you. Aiming for mastery, not average, is crucial, as it makes everything you do have a reason, and success stops being a dream and becomes a given. Lesson 2. Consistent Action not giving up is one of the most important keys to success, and it's what separates the 1% from the 99%. Famous fighter Miyamoto Musashi had a deep understanding of this idea. During his lifetime, Musashi was known not only for how good he was in fight, but also for how hard he worked to get even better. It took him a while to become masterful. Instead, he became great by training for hours on end, getting better at what he did, and pushing himself past what felt safe. He has never lost a fight, and this steadfast dedication to steady action is what made it possible. Consistent action is not a choice for the 1%. It's a must. These people know that taking small, steady steps every day is the key to success. On the other hand, the 99% often want things to happen quickly. They are excited at first, but lose steam when things get tough or when they don't see results right away. This lack of stability is a big part of why they don't reach their goals. The 1% are successful because they keep going even when things get hard or progress seems slow. The life of Musashi is a great example of this idea. He says that success doesn't come from shortcuts or sudden bursts of effort, but from repeat and practice. You have to do the same things every day if you want to be successful in any area. This is true whether you're building a business, getting healthier, or learning a new skill. The top 1% of people know that it's not about making huge steps forward, but about making slow, steady progress. Commitment means taking action over and over again, even when the original excitement wears off. The top 1% keep going even when they're bored, tired, or having problems because they know that success takes time. Musashi did not become a master fighter by training whenever he felt like it. He trained non-stop, every day, because he knew that regularity was key to success. In the same way, the top 1% stay focused on their goals and do small, meaningful things every day, knowing that each one gets them closer to their goal. The need for quick satisfaction is one of the main things that keeps the 99% from taking regular action. People today want quick wins and results right away, but the way to real success is different. The 1% are able to put off getting what they want 
because they know that the benefits of their hard work will come in the end. They believe in the process because they know that small actions add up over time to make growth exponential. Taking consistent action also means learning from your mistakes and changing your plans when you need to. Musashi never gave up when things went wrong. He saw each mistake as a chance to learn and get better. This is how the 1% think. They don't give up when things go wrong. Instead, they see failures as lessons that help them change how they do things and keep going. This is why constant action is so powerful. It's not enough to just do the same thing over and over. You need to keep getting better as you go. So, taking constant action is what makes it possible to reach your goals. Not having a dream or vision is not enough to make it come true. You have to take steady, regular steps. The top 1% know this and play the long game, just like Miyamoto Musashi. For them, getting better and being successful means making small efforts every day that add up over time. You have to believe that every action you take will bring you closer to your final goal if you want to be different from the other 99%. Lesson 3. Embrace Failure Miyamoto Musashi had failed many times, and he often talked about how important it was to accept loss as a part of the way to success. In fact, the 1% see failure as a vital step on the way to success, while the 99% let failure stop them in their tracks. Musashi's many duels and fights taught him how to be strong. Every win had moments of trial and error, and he learned to see losses as chances to improve. People today often feel bad about failing, and a lot of them are so afraid of it that they never take any chances. The 1% on the other hand, know that loss is a part of life, and that it is useful. Musashi's theory says that failure is an important part of success, not the opposite of it. Every time you fail, you learn something new about what works and what doesn't. Every loss teaches us something, helps us get better at something, and helps us come up with a better plan. How the 1% and the 99% deal with loss is what makes them different. The 99% tend to take loss personally because they see it as a sign of how bad they are. When things get tough, they give up because they think loss means they can't be successful. For the 1%, loss is a sign that something is wrong. They look at what went wrong, change how they do things, and keep going. Musashi's life shows how important it is to accept loss. He didn't always win easily. He often had to deal with tough opponents and obstacles. He didn't let failures get him down though. Instead, he used them to improve his skills and way of thinking. If you want to be in the top 1%, you need to change how you think about failing. Don't be afraid of it. See it as an important part of your trip. Failure is the way to mastery, and you can't reach success without it. Lesson 4. Focused. Musashi said that attention was one of the most important things in life. In war and in life, a mind that is all over the place is a mind that loses. The 1% are successful because they know how to concentrate. They can fully focus on their goals blocking out other things that might get in the way and staying dedicated to the job at hand. The 99%, on the other hand, are often easily sidetracked, pushed in different ways, and unable to give one thing their full attention. Musashi's famous idea of no mind or motion is the best example of his theory on focus. In this state, the mind is free from all distractions, letting the person be fully present in the present moment. Musashi was able to keep his mind so focused during important fights where even a small distraction could cost him his life. In today's world, the same rule still applies to being successful. The top 1% can put all of their attention on one goal at a time, which sets them apart from everyone else. The 99% often get caught in the trap of multitasking because they think that doing several things at once will make them more productive. True focus, on the other hand, means putting all of your attention on one goal, like learning a skill, starting a business, or finishing a job. The top 1% know that if they try to do too many things at once, they will be average, but if they work hard, they will be great. 
Musashi's life shows us how important it is to concentrate on one thing at a time. There was no dividing up of his time between different activities. He gave his whole time to the art of the sword. He became the best fighter of his time because he never stopped focusing. Getting good at focusing on a single goal and staying focused over time is very important for people who want to join the 1%. Distractions are bad for success and the only way to really do well is to work very hard. Lesson 5. Lifelong Learning Musashi thought that mastery is not something that can be fully achieved, but rather something that is always getting better. One main reason why the 1% achieve and the 99% stay the same is this idea of constant learning. They are always looking for ways to learn, grow, and change. The 1% are never happy with what they know or what they have accomplished. The 99% on the other hand, stop learning once they hit a certain level of skill because they think they've learned enough. It was important for Misashi to stress that people should be willing to learn from other fields as well as their own. He thought that learning new things and getting better at many things made you a more well-rounded person who could look at problems from different points of view. Musashi, for example, was not only a great swordsman, but also an artist and a philosopher. His many hobbies made him a better person and a better fighter. The top 1% of people who do well do so by constantly learning. For fun, they read, learn, and look for new things to do that are different from what they're used to. They aren't afraid to ask questions, say they don't know something, or look for help from experts or teachers. They stay smart, flexible, and ahead of the curve by learning new things all their lives. The 99%, on the other hand, tend to stick with what they know. They get comfortable and think that the skills and information they already have are enough to get them through life. One big reason they don't reach real success is that they stay in the same place. Musashi's life shows that we should always be trying to learn new things. If you want to be in the top 1%, you have to commit to learning new things all your life. Being successful means always changing and having an attitude that is open to new challenges and growth possibilities. Lifelong learning isn't just getting more facts. It's also about getting better at what you already know over time. Musashi showed this by always improving his skills, even after he was a great fighter and had never lost a match. He never thought he knew everything, and you shouldn't either. True competence is a changing goal for the 1%. There is always something new to learn, get better at, or perfect. To stay ahead in any area, you need to keep learning throughout your life. You can do this through reading, having a guide, or getting experience in the real world. Adopting the idea of lifelong learning is important for people who want to get ahead of the 99%. You can't just stop when you reach a certain level of skill. Success changes over time, just like the world does. The 1% stay ahead by always getting better, learning from everything they do, and never thinking they've hit the top of their game. Lesson 6. Ownership Another big difference between the 1% and the 99% is who owns what. When it comes to fighting and life in general, Miyamoto Musashi thought that people should be fully responsible for their actions, choices, and results. The 1% are successful because they take responsibility for everything in their lives. They are aware that they are the only ones who can make them succeed or fail, and they refuse to make excuses or put the blame on others. A lot of the time, the 99% think like victims. Instead of taking responsibility for the decisions they made, they blame other people, bad luck, or the way things were. One big reason they don't have as much success is that they don't feel like they own it. You give up your power when you fail to take responsibility. The top 1% know that they need to be in charge of their own lives in order to be successful. Musashi always felt like he owned everything in his life. He didn't depend on other people to help him win. He was in charge of his own training, plan, and deeds. The lessons in this book are still useful today. The top 1% understand and own the choices they make and the outcomes that follow, whether it's in work, relationships, or personal growth. They don't waste time attacking others when something goes wrong. Instead, they look at what happened, learn from it, 
and move on with more understanding and drive. The 1% also take responsibility for how they go about achieving their goals and dreams. They don't wait for chances to present themselves. They make them. Instead of waiting for outside approval or support, they take full responsibility for making their goals come true. What makes them different is that they are vigilant. Most of the time, the 99% wait for the right time or for everything to be just right. The 1% on the other hand, make things happen on their own. The lessons that Musashi taught us tell us that real power comes from inside. To be successful like the top 1%, you need to take full responsibility for everything you do. Don't look for outside reasons why you haven't reached your goals. Instead, concentrate on the things you can change. Success doesn't just come to you. It's something you make happen by what you do and how you think. You have more control over your future when you take more responsibility for your life. Lesson 7. Self-discipline. Self-discipline is the last and maybe most important thing that sets the 1% apart from the 99%. Miyamoto Musashi's whole life showed how important it is to be disciplined. He followed a strict set of rules, working all the time and living a life that required focus, sacrifice, and a strong dedication to his craft. They are able to stay focused on their goals despite distractions and temptations that would normally stop others because they have an incredibly high level of self-discipline. Self-discipline means being able to do what you need to do even if you don't want to. Most of the time, the 99% let their feelings, instincts, or outside events decide what they do. They put things off, get sidetracked, or give up when things get hard. On the other hand, the 1% know that to be successful, they have to put in the hard work even when it's hard or difficult. Musashi thought that strict self-discipline was the only way to reach real control. He didn't let other people's views or the promise of an easier path change his mind. He worked hard at training, always getting better, and kept his eyes on his goals, even when things got tough. You need the same amount of focus in every part of your life. Self-discipline for the 1% isn't just about reaching short-term goals. It's also about making a way of life that helps them succeed in the long run. They make habits and routines that help them stay on track even when they're not feeling like it. They know that inspiration fades quickly, but that focus is what keeps growth going over time. The 1% know that constant focus is what will lead to success in the long run while the 99% depend on small bursts of inspiration. Musashi's theory also says that being self-disciplined is not about not having things, but about controlling yourself. It means having the strength to choose things that are good for you in the long run, instead of giving in to wants in the short term. The 1% are successful because they have learned self-discipline, which helps them stay focused, steady, and strong when things get tough. Ultimately, the 1% are successful in the end because they follow rules that most people don't pay attention to or don't care about. They make clear plans, stick to them, accept failure as a normal part of the process, stay focused like a laser, vow to keep learning, own their lives completely, and are very self-disciplined. The lessons of Miyamoto Musashi are a strong warning that success is not just for a lucky few. Anyone who wants to can get it if they adopt the attitude and habits of the 1%. You can rise above the 99% and do amazing things if you follow these lessons.